Welcome to DrivenMavens.com. My name is Arvin, and we continue on with a little bit of traditional sketching uh, using a newsprint pad and an art stick. So uh, let's go. This is time lapsed, uh, and you'll have to excuse me. I didn't realize that my head was in the way on uh, certain portions of the sketch. So uh, anyway, I apologize for that, and I think the next one I'll try to be more careful with where I position my face relative to the camera so or my head I should say anyway we're gonna start off with my uh, profile I've got about two and a half wheels as my wheelbase my spacing between the front and the rear wheel now the trick with uh, sketching with newsprint uh, is you know newsprints are just they're like news newspaper I mean they're just very cheap uh, thin sheets of paper that are just meant for you to practice on and just sketch you're not supposed to be looking at great, uh, getting beautiful looking uh, sketches you know out of these things this is just meant for you to kind of crank through not that you know, not to, not that you can't get I mean sometimes you people who do life who get into life drawing classes they can produce some phenomenal looking sketches on newsprint but primarily it's just very cheap it's large format and it allows you to sort of get used to or get your your arms used to working in that size format so what I've done here I've got a profile and I'm just gonna add the headlamps and then add in uh, some details here for the headlamps and what you can notice here is that these art sticks that I'm using this is just a Tuscan red art stick and what I like about these is just the fact that they are like Prismacolor pencils but you are able to get uh, broader strokes and cover more surface area with them uh, they're just like a block form kinda like charcoal uh, when you buy those if you've ever used charcoal in, in a long stick form uh, uh, that's basically what this is at this is like but it is a wax based uh, medium just like the Prismacolor pencils and what I do is uh, I end up sort of rotating as I sketch because one side will get really flat and then you want to make sure that you can maintain some sharpness as you apply more pressure and darken your lines and get uh, uh, greater line weight variation. Yeah, that front wheel ended up being a little bit smaller but it's alright. We'll just keep on sketching. So it's going to be six spokes. We'll start adding those in. Lock those in quickly. There we go. I'm hitting the front. So I got basically my entire theme has been sketched out pretty quickly. And now I'm just going to use the side of the art stick where it kind of covers more area and then I'm going to darken the uh, the portion of the tire that's not directly in view of the light source so that's not going to get any that's not going to be of any lighter value it's going to get darker at the top and then it'll be lighter at the bottom and then graphically what we want to do, we want to uh, start to color in just uh, where the, uh, the, the spokes are, just to pop out the spokes. Uh, the hollow portion of the wheel. So we'll add that in there. And, and here what I'm doing is you really had to press hard on these, uh, on this medium itself so that you get a very dark value through it. And then I'm just going to block in, just shade in the portion of the wheel that's not exposed to the light. I'm going to just increase the value of the underside, go around the wheel well here. There we go. And then just repeat that same process. Yeah, and this is a, a really 
good exercise to do because most of the time if you're just using your letter size eight and a half by eleven you're not getting enough exposure to doing other uh, sizes meaning that uh, your arm has to be exercise you have to exercise uh, your drawing habits and your your range meaning that you have to uh, make sure that you know, as you go in a larger format you have enough control you have enough muscle control as you're uh, laying out your sketch lines I mean, that's what's going to give the the fluidity in your work is if you start to practice both on smaller size pages as well as big just going small all the time is not going to be enough you have to be able to work with different size formats and be able to sketch accurately so so this is nice that's why new spring pads are nice because they're very smooth they're not uh, that toothy well no they, they actually are kind of toothy <laughs> you can see the texture here but the point is is that they're uh, they're very light and they're just they're really nice to to work on they're they're, they're pretty smooth just gonna add a simple box or rectangular background and we're gonna shade that in later as I get into it I'll pray accentuate the rear portion of that profile so I'll just make uh, the profile there a little bit darker there you go so that pops that out so that's a good thing adding a little bit more value popping it all out you don't want it to completely blend in with the background so however we can add a little bit more contrast between that background and the car is what you want to do so I'm adding a little bit more oh, excuse me I'm adding a little bit more value we're gonna add another character line that's coming off of the headlamp and I just want to make sure I darken the side character line at the door alright now we're just gonna shade the spokes and then from here I'm gonna go full time I'm, I'm just going to run it at uh, full time so we've stopped speeding up the video this is real time I don't mean full time I mean real time <laughs> Jeez, this is crazy. It's like when you see watch it going at 300%, now it's so slow, it's like you're going in slow motion. I feel like I'm drawing in slow motion. It felt quicker. It felt quicker when I actually did it. I felt like I was going really fast and that I was racing through it. Uh, the, the total sketch, the actual time, probably took about 25, maybe 30 minutes or so. 30 minutes on that size, not bad. So what I've done here, I just started to indicate the tire tread. You're just adding these nick marks to the top. That adds a little bit more texture to it. And there we go. Not too, not too bad. I'm just going to go back and shade in the background. I'm going to start to add a little bit more value. So that I can pop out the silhouette in the back a little bit more. There you go. Back to the rough line. And then I'm going to darken the top part so that we get a nice contrast between the two. Fun stuff, man. Fun stuff. And don't worry about when you're going through these new sprints, don't worry about messing up. Just you know, keep drawing on this stuff. Keep drawing large and mix it up, then go back to maybe small, then back to going large. A larger pad. There we go. Now I just finish off the rear tail lamps. Okay, 
That's looking pretty decent. Not too bad. And hopefully what you're seeing here is that you are looking at the varying line weights. The line weight is actually varying in different uh, areas. The more you can do that, the more powerful and energetic your sketch is going to be. So vary your line weight uh, throughout your sketch. Uh, any area that you want to maybe emphasize more, you can make it maybe a little bit darker than other areas. That brings the focal point to that particular side. Right, gonna shade the roof line a little bit more. And we're just about wrapping up here. Just about done. Just trying to figure out if there's anything else that I want to do. Alright, I think we're good to go with this. Just gonna sign it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this particular sketch or this series with newsprint pad. We're probably gonna do a few more of these. And uh, we'll see you here next time on DrivenMavens.com. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.